In this video, we will look at two iVision software tools. We will look at the color distance and the free caliper tools. We will use this image of a crossover to show how the jaws of the caliper interact with the product. Since the free caliper tool requires a grayscale image, we will be using the color distance tool to create a synthetic grayscale image first. We will begin by creating a new program. To create a new program, select the Configuration Mode button. There are three displays in Configuration Mode that are utilized for creating a program. On the left, we have our tools, which are also called the Command Sets. In the classic view, the Command Set is displayed across the top of the screen, but for this video we will be using a view that shows the tools grouped on the left. The center display is the Program Editor. Here is where we will create our program. The tools for the program are dragged and dropped into the column marked C. On the left side is the camera viewer which will display our images. So to create our program, we will first need to select our image. Under the image acquisition command set, click and drag the image capture tool to the C column in the program editor. Here, you will select how you want the program to acquire an image. For this example, we will be loading an image off of the computer. So select the Load Image option and hit Browse to select your image and click OK. To execute all commands up to this point, click on an empty C column space. You will see your image displayed on the right. Now we can add the Color Distance tool to create a synthetic grayscale image for the Free Caliper tool. The Color Distance tool is located underneath the Color Command Set. Place this tool underneath the Image Capture tool. The Color Distance tool generates a synthetic grayscale image by taking the reference color you select and transforming each pixel a shade of gray corresponding to the distance between a given pixel and the reference color. This tool uses a three-dimensional graph using the RGB values to evaluate how similar or close a color is to the reference color. For our example, we will set the reference color to the red background by using the eyedropper to pick our color. Our synthetic grayscale image will be saved to image memory 1. Click OK and execute the tool. Go to Image Memory 1 to view the results. On our image, the areas that are similar to the red that we selected as the reference point were turned to a dark shade of gray, and those areas that were less similar to that red were turned to light shades of gray. Now we have a grayscale image with enough contrast to distinguish the edges of the crossover. Now we can add the Free Caliper tool to show how the jaws of the caliper interact with the product. The Free Caliper tool is underneath the Measurement Tools command set. Place the Caliper tool underneath the Color Distance tool. To set up the caliper, click on the Configure Caliper button. The yellow circles on the caliper allow you to move and make adjustments to the caliper. You can also rotate the caliper, change the distance between the jaws, and change how far the jaws extend. The green box on each jaw indicates the area that the tool will search for an edge to measure. The size of these green boxes can be changed by using the slider at the bottom of this screen. Now we'll reset the caliper and position it on the end of the crossover. Again, this is just to demonstrate how the jaws of the caliper interact with the product and we want to make sure that the edges of the crossover are included in the search area and click OK. Now we can set the parameters for the jaws. For our example, the edge that we want the caliper to measure is light, so we will set the object color to bright and we can leave the other parameters as they are and click OK. You can also set separate parameters for the top and bottom jaws by unlinking the parameters. 
Notice that the bottom jaw parameter button will be activated and you can change the parameters for each jaw individually. To view the distance that will be measured, click on the test button and a red line will appear on your image. This is the distance that the caliper will measure. Click OK. We will set tolerance values for the free caliper tool by right clicking on the icon and selecting the last results option. This value will be entered into the nominal value area. For this example, we will not be using the tolerance function, so we will disable it by entering very high numbers into the plus and minus values. To display our results, we will add a text tool which is located underneath the communications command set. Add the text tool below the caliper tool. For this example, we want to display the value of the measurement taken with the free caliper tool. You can add text as well and select the color of the text according to the results of the free caliper tool. To position the text on the image, hit the position button and a screen will appear that will allow you to make a selection on the image. Hit OK. You can also change the font size and the order of the text and values. Finally, execute your tool to view your measurement.